What's going on guys, VicVP back with another Game Case Arcades video and we're excited, we're building another control panel and yep, it's a Street Fighter Edition one. So I was going to do like a whole unboxing of how Game Solutions send you the control panel but I skipped all that, you can look at that somewhere else but let's look carefully real quick as far as what you get in the box and the big thing that I say in my other videos is pay attention to MDF board. This again is a vinyl artwork. Ryan actually gives you that included in the control panel. This is custom made by me. I did all this on Photoshop. It's very cool. I love it. This thing looks great. It has the whole, you have to make the whole cutouts, meaning we have to take a blade to this. But just real quick, take a look at the vinyl. The vinyl covers up everything. You don't see any imperfections with the vinyl. The vinyl looks clean, no scratches. This was in bubble wrap, it's perfect. Now let's look at the other pieces though. Keep in mind, again, MDF board. This is fresh out of the box. Like, it's well packaged, but we got a nick. We got a nick here. See that? We have a nick. We have a little blemish here. Let's see. Again, this isn't Ryan's fault. This is just what happens with MDF board. MDF board will give you the nicks no matter what. Again, if you look at the edge of this, this isn't a straight piece of wood. This is MDF board. So this is like, I don't know, wood chips like combined into one. So you have to keep that in mind. No matter what happens, you will always forever see the nicks. So that is why I always suggest if you don't want to see the nicks, you have to go with the vinyl. The vinyl covers up all the nicks. Again, take a look at the game case, the bar top edition. You get the nicks. So just keep that in mind. We're going to build this control panel and we are excited. Uh, we're going to make this video. Basically, we're going to see if we could fit a Pandora's box inside the control panel. That'll be the next video that we're going to make. But this right here is going to show you off real quick the control panel, the Street Fighter 2 edition control panel. Finally, after about, I would say an hour, maybe an hour and a half of banging this thing out, this control panel is about 50% done. Hard parts are done, buttons are done. We got the everything vinyl ripped. This is perfect, this is amazing. Um, first ever really custom um, where Ryan gave me the template and all that. I am pretty amazed. The biggest fear I had was that when I made the template on Photoshop, I was afraid of how like this button was gonna be cut out. Like I was afraid of how it was. And I gotta say it was to the T. So big props to Ryan Game Room Solutions. I'm blown away by this this is awesome it's going to be led'd out we got our player ones we got our coins big thing again we're following the street fighter 2 red white and blue red white and blue i got the red joystick on this one the blue joystick on this one menu keys here this is unbelievable the other big thing i noticed is the chrome team molding i was a little skeptical about this it does luckily come with a plastic like protection film because remember, you do have to mallet this in. This does have to be malleted in. I did notice though that this is a little bit thicker, um, meaning that it was a little bit tougher to mallet in. It does pop out a little bit on the edges. Usually my other T-moldings don't really do that. Um, but then again, that might be the way that I cut it. Uh, you do have to cut a little slit in the middle of it, but I gotta say that this is phenomenal. Chrome T-molding, Street Fighter 2. We're gonna be doing this video. We're gonna see if we can fit a Pandora's box in this. Um, again, though, I'm personally blow, blown away. This is amazing. Look at this. Even we got to the T. We got Hadoukens going on. Perfect. Nothing hidden. My little kind of detail. We did 8-bit Street Fighter 2. I think that's turbo because it does have the extra people inside of it. Again, fully customized. The... Photoshop template, I gotta say, is amazing. Again, Game Room Solutions, Ryan, blown this one out. I'm very surprised, especially with how precise that came out. I couldn't believe it. I was a little skeptical. I didn't think it was gonna come out this good. Basically, I just copied basically the mark, uh, the bezel on a Street Fighter II cabinet, put all this. M. Bison normally has a white background. Had to take the white background out this way. It doesn't look too special. Amazing. We even added a little bit of this. This again is on the bezel of the actual Street Fighter 2 cabinet. Little details is what set you apart. Got my logos, got my game case arcades, at symbols. This right here, I'm, I'm blown away. This is amazing. 
Again, stay tuned. We're going to be making a can of Pandora's box fit inside of this without any issues. Uh, but this might be actually converted back into a Raspberry Pi build. Um, keep in mind, though, these buttons are already cut out as far as the menu buttons. So a Raspberry Pi, these buttons would be blank, meaning we'll still leave them there, but they wouldn't, they wouldn't work. Um, I have a customer that wants to do a coin operated control panel. So we're going to probably try to build that. I also have another customer that does want a Raspberry Pi build. Again, can't really complain. First time ever using T molding as the Chrome T molding. Very surprised. Again, there is a little bit, it might be me, but again, this T molding was pretty thick, meaning it was pretty tough to handle. But again, mind blown, beautiful. Well, I gotta say, it wouldn't be a Game Case Arcades console if I didn't hurt myself, I caught my finger, but after, again, about an hour and a half of beating this thing, I'm mind blown. This is gorgeous. Street Fighter II Championship Edition custom artwork. This thing is unbelievable. Red and white buttons. This is gonna be all LED'd out. This is about 50% done. We just finished the cabinet. I have the stand to build, and again, I'm pretty shocked at how the quality came out on this. Again, kind of making just a quick video because I'm still mind blown about this. Again, we're going to be making a can of Pandora's box fit inside of this with the power supply and everything. We're going to see if it could fit. Um, but again, this is a quick video. Vic VP. Again, Vic VP game case arcades. We just keep building arcades. That's what we do. Let me rephrase that. Uh, my sister actually messaged me and said to me, Vic, there's no we in your team. It's only me. I don't know why I say we, it's only me. So let me go and say that again. Vic VP, Game Case Arcades, I make arcades, that's it.